sitting there doing all these feeding in the middle, and sit straight over to like school four or anything to say that they don't understand. Just sit there. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> then I say I don't say let's do this. I said who is ready? <laughs> <laughs> they know who is ready. <laughs> okay. Then after they raise hand, I just hold the leg here and pull back so that they sit like a kind of corner. And I say put the hands on the floor. Yeah, they do that, and I can see how scared they are. Scared one, they go like this. If not scared, they go what? And so I can tell who is who has to reflect, who doesn't have to reflect. And I say after put the hand, put on the head, put the head on the floor. And usually you already toss your head on the floor. I can I can tell by without looking like this. I I have right enough experience. I can tell if head on the floor or not. Or if I can feel like it's good for help them like this, head on the floor. And now, here's the area I want part. I want him to knee together. I said, knee together. And I said, flip. And they have to forget about the knee. What about those kids that when you tell them to put their hands on the floor, they do like a crab shape. They put their hands behind them yeah. like that. What? I pull them back. And tell them to so put their hands up? they can do it. That's what set up is. Set up so that they can do the only way you want them to do it. So if they go this, and I pull them back so they can't reach it, and they go, put the hands on the head, and they go this. They, they give up. They surrender. <laughs> but then I do with first the ones who have raised hands first. That means they have the least, most, most motivated, the least amount of fear is usually raised hands first. So they do well. And let them see it in the second one. So go for most of those people the, in that order first. So that the, they, they have a chance to look at it. The one, the most scared one, the quiet one, they don't raise their hands. And I, I have to remember that when we went. And if they don't raise their hands, I just say, you're done. <laughs> you're done. It's just dictate. It's your turn. It's good. And once they can do it, and do it the second chance, and second time, then I don't I ignore the hands anymore. Then I go one way. So that it's now teaching them patience. And go here and say, I want to go. Be patient. I want to go. Keep patient. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll go around. And at least two or maybe and do maybe about two weeks, two, three weeks, they understand how to do it. Then I ask, who wanna do it by yourself? And they start by themselves. Then they if they don't scoot, scoot forward, they land on the head. If they keep here and go like this, they land on the head. Those are those are the one brave one. <laughs> so brave one but, but if you have them lying on the head, they get scared they can't do it. So I don't let them do it by themselves. They just ask them, who wanted to do it by yourself? Then I say, you may. Then I fold. And if they try to go like back and forth, then I pull back like this. And let them, yeah. Let, 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 never let them fall down. And, go, yeah. and if they go like this. And once they go here, I let go. If they're strong enough, they can do it. But I assume saying words. Hand on the floor. Head on the floor, and if they try to flip over the head on the floor, I grab them. Head on the floor, and they can go. <laughs> head on the floor, after they head on the floor, okay, and then they go. And once they can do that, now I step four, up. Maybe next three weeks. Okay, have a seat on Rona. Okay, ready? Hands on the floor. They do all the, and I'm just looking around. Oh, this guy needs help. This guy needs help. And head on the floor. I'm looking. Keep doing very good and then start saying, okay, who can do or, oh, okay, you know, really, you're good. You may challenge without head. Then, without touching head, they try to support it. That's the second part of strength. Then flip over. But always say knees together, knees together, let they go straight. There we go, knees together. And keep going that, and if they're good, next three weeks or next, um, maybe that's about one, one session probably. The next, if they sign up next session, then um, leg straight. So when you pull back, once they can do, yeah, you gotta keep your head down for you. So, yeah. And I say leg straight, straight, straight there. And then once you get leg straight that good, then I say one leg at a time. And that's all. Lunge. And one leg straight. Lunge. One leg straight. It's just a variation. Huh? Yeah, leg straight. Yeah, one leg straight. One leg, no, one leg at a time. In lunge. Yeah, okay. And the other leg. That's basically they. They had to push straight to do that. 
so they do not have to push. That's the easy one to start. I usually use that one for the little stars. And even the tiny stars, I have the tiny stars. You can really hold them a whole day because they're going to They're not even tall enough for that. And that's what the first one, back bend, flip over on head, back bend, flip over on hand, back bend, pike down with the leg straight, back bend, kick over, lunge, and lunge the other leg. Now, handstand with the donut. Now, maybe after three weeks or so, if they start doing by themselves, if I step by side, then they are coordinated and strong enough to hold, so I start teaching uh, hands hit me. Now, whenever they sit, I sit around the donut, and I say hands on the floor, head against the donut, and feet on the yellow. Then I'm too tall, so I can put the feet on the yellow, but they want to put the feet on the yellow. What they happen is that usually they go like this, and go like this. It's going to happen first bit, I know that. <laughs> and, uh, so I will help them and put them feet ready, so that they can. Yeah. You're, you're not holding us a bit. Yeah. Oh, you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get a pillow. So, this is a so they, can basically, they know already going this way, so they're just not scared. So they can do this. And once they can do that, knee together. And come fast. One, two, three, four, five. You may come down. That will be first one. And once they can start doing that piece of cake, then I say, top. Put feet, feet on the donut first, feet on the yellow. Then I say, top. And top. Yeah, now they have to start on balancing. To use muscle. What's against the mat? Is there, their backs fully against the mat? Right? Yeah, they, it depends on. If some kids are not very really strong, they're going to be. Like leaning like this, and they're still falling. Yeah. And once they get strong enough, they want to come off. Like, uh, remember, uh, like Blake, he's so strong. Hey, he, he's not gonna, not even not touching. He's just already holding, like, like doing this. Yeah. So they, they, they try to hold it. Then talk, then I say straddle. Now I need more balance. I'm taking the talk. Tuck make what happens is oh, tuck. tuck is weight or leg weight is this side. So what happens is you need to use more muscle here. You need to push hard. So they understand this pressure and hand position. If the hand position is like uh, some kids do, like do this or like we are like this, they fall <laughs> down. They have to put this. So they understand how the balance works and hands here fall down to tuck. You can't hold tuck like that. So they understand how to put the hands in triangle. So that's a tuck. Then straddle. Now go straddle. Now straddle, you don't need much strength. Now straddle needs balance. If straddle, if they don't coordinate the low back flat or tummy tight and stay flat here, they fall over. They, they go this way, this happens. Mm -hmm. And they go, no, 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 feet out, feet out. Then they try to figure it out. <laughs> they figure out the balance. So more like coordination, straddle is coordination. So strength, coordination. Then straight, the both together. Straight has to have a coordination and strength at the same time. Yeah. Then they start doing straight. Uh, if, if you got this kind of case right away, it's good. Usually they do this. Leaning, leaning. Yeah. More like straight. Yeah, like straight, like straight. Okay. Like this happens. Yeah, it's okay this happens, but the practice is talking to each so that they can. They, then once they doing all three good, then I say bottom of the donut. Then you can't do that one anymore. Bottom of the donut that you did that for me. Yeah, straight one. They start doing this at the beginning, and they, they think they are straight, and say bottom of the donut. Well, they have to work, and they go to start figuring out something here. And then after that, you can say squeeze the bottom, toe point, feet together, that kind of thing to go more towards the team level. That's for the strength. For the three, four, three, four five years ago. I don't, I don't teach much handstand yet that time. Maybe handstand against the wall after that. Go cut well. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? All right, now, school age. 
now they understand the mechanics or understand what body parts move, how body parts move. Now, my title for the school age or theme is curiosity. Make it so that they are curious, which is like, uh, this is back handspring level one. Oh, I'm learning back handspring. But it's painstaking. But it's back handspring level one. Curious, oh, I'm going towards that. That's which is one. Explaining the draws and progressions give the motivation. Two, eliminate reflex. Prepare the body. Three, demand quality for future success. If lower quality for each part of the back handspring when they put together, they don't succeed. So they need each part high quality. Now you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Each part has to be really good so that when put together, you, su you succeed. Okay. Now, the motivation, we'll use level one, two, three, four, that kind of thing, but uh, example what I do for the reflex, which is two most, one of the important ones, one, going backwards upside down, start with three fall, which is, I call three fall because fall straight. Yeah. Uh, on the resi, you want to demonstrate? Yeah. Now three, four, this one doesn't go upside down enough. So we need to go upside down. Fall backward to upside down is the first one. So fall backward to upside down. All right, next one. Once they can understand that straight line, then I keep cold. I want them to be tight. Here, okay, stand on the white. Three, four again. Hold on, watch this. Oh, watch, watch, look back, about this far, all right? Fall like this and stop. And make yourself like a board. So land, like end up this thing. Right. Like this. And if they buckle, did you touch a butt here? Try again. If you touch a butt here, that means you're not tightening. Stick. Yeah, this is good. And if it's not tight enough, just touch here. Then I say, not good enough. And once they can do that, all right, scoot back a little bit. 
maybe half the foot. Let's go back. Half the foot. That's good. Oh, that's good. Half the foot. Good. Good. Half the foot. This one can be draw line like level one, level two, level three, level four, like this. And draw, you can draw a line with chalk. And about this close, then start rolling. And they should put the hand like this. And, oh, it's good. But still, I don't want them to go this way. So once you get there, I usually stop. Then let them drop dragging. Now, asking quality. Area awareness. Remember that I talked about knee together on here? Knee together before flip. No, that one. What this is age this? group, if knee together, it's not going to be good enough. Four points feet to get the knee straight. Point and touch your hand. So right here, I'm gonna go like this. Straight, 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 squeeze, squeeze hand. They have to feel this. Otherwise they don't succeed in the back. Then come back. So you can do it with the partner. That's that that point. Then that's a fall back to upside down. That's that's what the all probably you need. Use that exercise. All right. Now, next one is the strength of the handstand, which is start with handstand hold against the wall. Six to twelve years old, you can probably start from there to there. Usually strong enough, but some they are not. Some will have to go handstand. Yeah, handstand against the wall. Just keep the handstand. My coach Monique said last week this has to. At least 30 seconds. If it's 60 seconds, it's good. If it's less than 10 seconds, they're not strong enough. So this one, one. Pick up that. Yeah. In bridge. At least 30 seconds. You can stay in bridge. So that's beginning. Then, now once they can do that, then. Touching our feet on the ground like this. Good. Would you demonstrate the better one? Armpits off, chest out like this, fall like this. That one that you're not engaging deltoid. No, the one, the better one, fall like this. Yeah, that's right. Roll down over your chest, armpits come off the ground. Remember how you first did it? Huh. <laughs> you can't do it anymore. <laughs> you're just saying it's, yeah, nice, it's like nice, Philip, gone. actually. You've trained, you've trained yeah, you well. You've trained so good, you can't beat it. I demonstrate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Usually what happens is this happens, you know, your butt is sticking like this. And it cuts <laughs> off the wall, that's first thing. You go, bend. This happens. Arm pits off. Or if they get a little better, even a little better, go like this. Yeah. Head off and arm pits off. That means the delta is not engaged at all. See, it's soft. Has to be pushed this way. So this is tight. So key part is right about here. Pushing. They're pushing that part. Basically, the bridge. Doing the bridge. And supporting weight, the entire weight on here. Top part. Then once they, that string is built over, then you can put them together. That's the wrong part. Okay. This is level three for me. Okay, um, we do a mark prices are typically based on how long you sign up. Whether it's for one month, three months, or twelve. Um, for a three month contract, it's for one class a week, it's around seven cool. weeks per month. And then a 102 for two classes per week per month. Um, and then it goes up or down depending on how long you decide. So if you sign a 12 year contract, it goes down $5. If 
each month, and if you only sign for one month, it goes up again. Yep, for two classes. All right. Yeah, for one class, it's seven. Try that. Stand. Fold to handstand. Yep. Exact same way as you did on the board. Yeah, compared to, definitely compared to the community center. Four points meet, four totals, it's open. It's open there. Yeah, we definitely, and um, we do offer a free trial as well, so if you ever wanted to come in and try a class out for free, you can do that. And what type of things we offer, you can add the height. Absolutely free. All you need is a waiver signed by a parent. Top. So you're not landing on the box this way. 
you're landing on the thumb like this. This is the difference. You're arching on the top. When you hit this, think about your body is this. No. This. Can you see the difference? Yeah. That stays you show board, it, like board. Just stay, stay stiff. Can you show us an example, Yoshi? What? Can you show us an example? Example. <laughs> the size is not fit to me. If I do that... You hit the purple one? So I don't hit the hand. It's got two bits. The octagon is too big. My body length. Yeah, let's just flip over without touching hand. If it's stiffer, almost twice as political. And once you get that one. So but if once you do this one many enough, what happens is they're not scared anymore, falling back. So I take this and this off. Stand here. And oh, it's the same. And my spot is very easy. Fall back into handstand. Flat one. I can even spot him if he do the same way. Flat back. Yeah, flat back into handstand. Uh, my shoulder is going to be here, just like octagon. So, mm -hmm. right. I'm not doing much spot. I'm just, that that looks so so you can I'm just spot. spotting. I only saw people. But he there. has to be that good, otherwise he will. Yeah. Ball, handstand. I, I, but I don't spot in this level unless they have really need to get around first. I need a little more repetition of this. At least doing that 200 or maybe 500. Do you have a question? Yeah. No, I have a question. Hold yes. On. I need to remember it. <laughs> oh, that specific setup with that octagon and that stuff is for people who are taller? Hold on this side. When you, yeah, it's just a, if you stand, it's a hip height. It's about the size. Um, stand here. See, it's a hip height, right about here. Yeah, it's about the size. And we have three different sizes right now. And uh, but the, this is for six to eight to twelve years old. Mm -hmm. So we don't probably don't need that purple one. The shorter one, like six, seven one. years old for the red one. Yeah. And 10, 11, 12 one. This one with the panel one. Yeah, yeah. That's two parts we want to get to. So handstand part and falling upside down. Any other questions? Where are you at right now? You didn't do jump yet, right? I did school age. Okay, got it. You did, you did jump? Straight here. No, I did school age. I didn't do teenage yet. That's up to six o'clock. Why not? You didn't do under school age. You didn't do jump yet. Uh, jump octagon. Okay, that's a just uh, advanced over that one. Um, okay, then I explain. Once they can fall, yeah, he's what not doing now. <laughs> okay, once they can fall, he was still crooked still. You see that? When I spot, spotting also has to be straight. But if I can go spot like. He's like doing really, really well. Like almost, like feel like almost no spot. Or he can be just one hand and pop, and she can do that. Now this becomes this instead of falling, this becomes little jump. I did jump into that, jump into that, and whether this one or here, this one is usually easy because they feel like jumping more. Jump, here, here,
I damn it! I don't think that happened. I don't teach that part. I, I wait until that happens. I teach up the bit. Then, actually giving them the feeling of, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Kind of feeling and give them the bit. And at the same time, I have notes here. I start teaching that age reverse movement, which is reverse back into the fly spring. Uh, less scary, and they are strong enough handstand now. So they teach handstand flat fold the other way to the back. And um, just let them do it. If they can do that good, their fly spring is, should be somewhat okay. They can kind of do it. Then, now top down teaching, let them do first, they make the correction onto that. Uh, the purpose of that is teaching tempo. Fly spring tempo and back end tempo is the same. Just like reverse. If you look at reverse from the videotape, back end look like fly spring. Speed is about the same. Tightness and the timing is about the same. Alignment is the same. So teach that backwards. Then their body, they start getting those, those extra extra sensitive area awareness of being tight and stiff and straight and speed and tempo and upside down, those feeling plus that and they will put two them together by themselves. I got a back hand spring. And they have more motivation and more uh, challenging mentality. Anyone, anyone other questions? Coach Yoshi, with that, with this spotting, I, I think your question was a really good one because we have such a variance of sizes. Mm -hmm. um, when you're adding penalites so that you're you're increasing the height of where, where their entry is into mm -hmm. the, the the tree fall back to hands yeah. flat fall. No higher than half with an octave. No higher than half. Yeah, half of the is very advanced. They are the one who can do back entry in a week or two already. That spotting I did at the end for him. It should be only two two classes at most, or maybe even one day. Fall, oh it's good, but then jump, oh jump, oh that's good, get a tumble trap, oh good, good try by yourself, oh you got a back hand spring that one day. <laughs> that, that so that spot is maybe for one kid no more than ten. It's gonna be like five, two, three, four, five times at that. I don't spot. That's that's only one day I spot. Maybe, maybe two days. Second day to start the beginning, they get kind of scared. Okay, I spot two times for you. Oh, you can do it. Okay, go ahead. I take a lot more time than other, other steps. And that's just one. Do you go higher than the octagon of the middle hip or head? Mm -hmm. We can't reach. Do you guys have a visual of that, Noelle? Because I know you were. Because I was assessing that too. Like, okay, if. If um, if Philip is this tall, how much taller? How many penalites would I want to add for what level child? Just a hip type. What you can think is just it is a central mass in here, right? So if it's something less lower than central mass, you trip over. Have you ever tripped something and fell on your face? Yeah, if it's lower <laughs> central mass in here and you trip something low, but if it's like wall is usually about hip height. Because so that you don't trip. If you lower than this, it's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, that Top and number. actually illegal in uh, like any setup. Fancy, the fancy has some certain height as mm -hmm. illegal height. If you go lower than that, illegal because you trip over. <laughs> but if I can't trip, you're tripping over back. Mm -hmm. So you can't be higher than this. If you're higher than that, it won't work. Okay. Yeah. But if you lower this, fast and fast, it's more dangerous at the beginning. So it's, you only just look about you. Yeah, just slightly lower than you. Um. And once you go half the height, that means about knee height. That's really, really hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Once you start doing it, you use panel mats and change the height. And you get there. You have four layers, you have three, you have two, or something like that. Let them learn how to go flip up like that. Yeah, if you have a different size than kids. Okay, mm, last one. Teenage, understanding. Okay, now repetition is of course important, but they, I believe this age they need to understand what they're doing first before they even try. At least many of them. 
So I want to explain the mechanics of the skill, what happens. Uh, then make them intelligent. Uh, they need to lean backward before jump. They need to swing the arm to upside down. They need to be able to support their weight with the two arms. Uh, they need to be tight to stay upside down. If you lose, they collapse. Or they need to be able to push off hands to snap, snap down. Or they need to have strength, strength on the stomach to snap down. They need to be able to jump high enough to go upside down. Or all those. Uh, and then I explain and make them intelligent first. Then break down into parts to have them understand logically why we support so to be able to jump. So this is a jumping exercise here. You need to be able to support so here. You need to be able to be bridge so here. You do need to be able to um, take uh, get reflex out. So you need to roll back and forth on like the like okay. one you did last time. And he did it. We do. We're at the yeah. very last yeah. week of the session. I understand now, right? The last yeah. day of the session is And the doors. So then Tuesday. you break it down in the park. Right, now they're tumbling. Then right. at the end, put them no, together the when they are ready. Every day of the week. So you just tell um, them. Right? If, if you're ready, put them together. And, and they may need to be spot She can make up any class any time of the class. But I need to be ready. And all you do is let us know when you're coming in. In the examples, I have the parts. I have four things in here. Strength to support in handstand okay. face. This is the most important one teenage. Um, we do. We have two because they on are Tuesdays and Thursdays. Relative Friday strength one. of support in handstand is not very strong most of the time. Uh, uh, so they need to be able to support using deltoids here, not push up position. Push up, of course. They can use okay. push up at least. So bridge walk. Is the first one you can determine immediately uh -huh. they are capable of back handspring or not yep, capable. No problem at all. Yet. Uh, if they can yep. do bridge and walk, most likely they won't be able to do that again. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, it's not important yep, so unless you teach it very effectively. Okay, so when effective you back handspring using the speed and power, board, uh, kind of skimming. And like uh, on that board um, and last on uh, tumbling team kind of back end spring. Yep. If and they can do that kind of speed, then they don't need strength. Okay, okay. awesome. Mm -hmm. I will yeah. have their slips made up. Uh, unless they mess up, they mess up, they're gonna made. crash. But, but most of the back ends, for standing back ends, really needs a lot of strength on shoulder. Right. And that's a bridge walk will determine if they're ready or not. If they can bridge walk, now nah, I let them do bridge push ups. Head down, head up, head down, head up, head down. Head up, head down head up. Maybe walk five steps. Up and down two times. Walk five steps, up and down two times, something like that, and get build up the strength. It won't take long time. Um, if they can bridge, if they can walk, if they can do just bridge, bridge walk and push up, push up combine exercise, maybe two passes, three weeks, they probably strong enough to start doing somewhat better. Uh, then bridge kick over and kick over for both legs for the balance of right and left. Because if you're just walking, they go one hand like this very often, or one go big step together, step together like this, and they have an unevenness. So to, to balance it out, the kick over right leg and left leg will do that. And just teach and place it. And fix that. And make it square. Now, once they get strong enough, at the same time, going backwards, again, tree fall, jump fall, and punch fall, which is what you did last week. Just fall as he did, fall, and now jump and fall, and punch and fall. Did you demonstrate? All three. Let's use the end of the tumble track. First one is fall, is stand and fall, three fall, right there. That one is three fall. Next one is jump into fall. I jump out and fall. Yeah. Now jump about forty-five degree. That's 
that the goal. <laughs> he doesn't have that coordination yet. Dragon has to be flat. Jump like this. Jump this direction. You try to you try to turn over, that's what you messed up. You jump straight line 45. Kind of. Yeah, a little too round and yeah, still a little left reflect right there. And now are you are you I do you feel safe? Punch punch to fall? Now you jump forward like a punch back in spring. Like there. But don't do back in spring. Punch and fall like that. <laughs> Be careful, your, your, your body is not totally ready for my point of view. Go light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if the feet come up, that means you're not ready. That's your flat fall. If they can do that punch, flat fall, not piping, not landing shoulder, not head in, just really flat fall their reflex. Area awareness of the jump into the air is mastered. So it's a part of that part. It's the, it's the first quarter of back instrument. Full round in the full socket back instrument from here to here is a quarter. And now going up and down from here to here. Second quarter of the back instrument is on the teenager needs a repetition of reflex. So you remember that rock back and forth? Mm -hmm. just demonstrate that. Coach money for the last week also. Just teaching two things. No, no, no just open it. Just roll back. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can use that one. Yeah, yeah. Because that's. You don't need this, but in this one, sometimes <laughs> convenient to have. Alright. How far you want to get? Here. Push your hand, push your feet, push your hand, push your feet. There. There are two things we're teaching. First, head has to be up. This is the area one is. If head, head, try to hit in. This is common to start. This is what happens usually. Then this one doesn't get rid of reflex because that's what human does. We're going backwards to hit in. So instead, relax the neck and look back. Especially, hopefully, look at the breath. And two, next one is knees together. Again, I talked about the preschool one. It's knees together, and that's not going to be good enough either. And knees straight, and toe point feet squeeze back. Yeah, this, yeah. Push and do that leg. Yeah, that's right. This is the quality part. This is the area when it's full. So that you can control when it's right in. Otherwise, you may eat your foot when you pop your knee. Have you ever had that one? It's probably like this. Like this. Knee goes right here and here. This guy's right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that one in one station. And fold over octagon, that's what we did, all over. And for jump over octagon. Uh, now, they are taller and bigger, so we, I want a less spot, so I let them jump over octagon so I start with shoulder. They want to, more like they want to this age, they want to be in action. So I would let them do jump over to hang hand or even to the feet. Earlier stage than school age. So they feel like they're doing back hand right? They so once we get all those three, second half of back hand spring, I will put in those handstand flat fall, we did the wall for the school age here and there, or handstand what snap down. You? you don't know what's a snap I'm down. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what it is. Handstand snap down. Yeah, it's the end of this. Uh, this. Yeah. Handstand. Snap. So this exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be a um, scene. If they are not sure, stomach is not strong enough, they won't be able to snap down, no matter how, how, how much they try. So they may need some uh, uh, stomach exercise, uh, crunches or something, to get them strong. Uh, then, after repetition of all these parts, 
plus more. This is just an example. You can do more. Then tell them, ready, you can go. And put all together. And they can do back in spin over octagon. Either tumble trap, double mini. Would you demonstrate how you do double mini? Yeah, double mini works quite good for jumping over octagon. Any questions? Okay, good. Go back to That's what I do. Yeah. 
but uh, if I'm teaching chair tumbling, then repetition on the floor is important. So we have they can do that. Now I would start with four. Number first. Okay, 20 first on the floor. Then your handstand part is not good. I'm going to keep together. Let's do this. Little, 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 so it's not as hard. Top down. Okay. If you start, if you go from So they have more experience hard. on the hard surface. Yeah, so yeah. they can maneuver when they mess up. Yeah. Instead of taking a look. Yeah. What I usually do, um, if they have it on top, I usually just they get their arms straight and they don't just sink right, right, exactly. That's put them on top of the yeah. it's the strength that you have then if they are doing this there are two things I suspect is their reflex of the head is still here so tuck the head in to disengage the auto so they pull out or they are literally weak or both and if I judge it look at it and if they are not swinging arms or not stronger than I'd say bridge walk or something. And if, if they are not throwing body into the effective shape, then the head is not in the right spot and then do the octagon or no, tree fold or something. Get that. So when I, like Nelly, like last couple months, she was doing run or fall, run or fall, run or fall, run or fall. I'm saying is eyes, eyes. But she does this, she reflects their eyes, eyes. And she is okay with the area of winning. So feet together, toe points is good. But for him, I said, point your to toe, feet together, feet together, feet together, feet together. <laughs> Remember that? Your head was good, so the legs are always apart. So it's feet together, feet together, that's the area of winning. And now he does understand why this so he can do very good. Because he don't want to upside down the area of winning, reflex, part. Flexibility is not limiting the bridge. It's only the strength. Not with the bridge. Okay, and if they can bridge, bridge kick over. If there's a bridge kick over, you got strength to that. Ah, okay. Then next, next level. Step two. If they can do that one, then I do all condition. Show me a bridge. That's what I say for you. Show me a bridge. Yeah. Show me a bridge. Is the bridge good? One month? Yes or no? Yeah. Good bridge? One month? No. <laughs> no? Take more than that. You learn good. You should brought up. Yeah. Watch it. You're paid. Does this conclude our session? Yes. Yep. All right.